Hey, what's going on guys? Asian Eyes White Dragon here. This is going to be a video tutorial on how to make a binder lock. This will make it so no one can take your binder out of your hands even if they run up to you and just grab it. Because, you know, even though if you watch your binder, you know, you have it at your side at all times, it still doesn't prevent someone from running up and just grabbing it out of your hands and running away or throwing it off the balcony because that has happened at several, you know, regionals and YCSs. And yeah, so uh, this is going to prevent that from happening. So let me show you uh, basically what it looks like and how it works. And then I'll show you how to make it. So basically what it is, is um, this is my older uh, version of it. I made a newer version. However, uh, you got to keep in mind this installation is permanent. It goes to the binder and you can't take it off. You can't even use wire cutters. So it's basically permanent. Uh, no one's going to run up to you with wire cutters and even be able to get it out of your hands then. So what it is, um, this is galvanized uh, metal right here. It's wire. And basically it runs through the entire binder and it goes through the middle of it. And um, it's secured with two fasteners. And uh, it goes into, well, I, I taped mine. It looks very ugly, I know. Uh, I wish it had <laughs> uh, do this. But, um, yeah, I mean, the tape does help because uh, this stuff right here is kind of rough. Um, it does rub against you. And how it works, basically, is you attach this through the loop of your belt. And then no one's going to take it. It's not even possible. They can pull in as much as they want. Um, the binder would have to break in half. And the amount of force it would take to do that is nearly impossible. It would take, like, five people literally pulling on you. And then by that time, yeah. But even then, like, you can't cut this stuff. This stuff is permanent. So, okay, I think I've explained myself. This stuff, very strong. So let me go ahead and show you, uh how to make it. So first off, uh, I'm going to show you with a smaller binder just because it'll be easier to fit in the frame. And uh, you're going to need a little bit longer wire. Um, depending on how tall you are, that will t be taken into consideration as well. But I'll show you how to make a very nice one. The one I'm using is a very old uh, idea that I had and it works perfectly fine. However, there's a new one and it's going to be a lot better. And so what you're going to need for this is you're going to need your wire here. Uh, get uh, Galvanize works really well. It's the, one of the strongest ones that they had at my uh, hardware store. And uh, basically, it's just this one's coated. If you can have yours coated, that's great because uh, this stuff usually is like it rubs against you because it's wire that's rolled. And so, uh, yeah, it's very strong though. Um, but this one is already coated. If you don't have uh, uh, any coating ones, uh, get this stuff right here. It's like the shrink tubing. And what you can do is you can put the wire, let me see if we can get it, through the hole. And that will make it so it looks nice and clean and it'll be black and, uh, and instead, of, instead of having the wire look. It'll look a lot nicer, really. And then lastly, so you'll need the wire and you'll probably need about three feet, three, four feet, depending on, again, how tall you are uh, and however it attaches to your belt. Uh, I'd say, like, bring your binder if you want to measure it. And then you're going to need uh, this two of these. These are called fasteners. And so I'll show you how it works. So you're going to get your binder and you're going to go to the very middle of it. And uh, from what I know, I haven't tried it on any of the YCS binders, or I'm sorry, like the regional top binders. I do have one, but I don't think it will work because there's no um, uh, middle part like these monster binders. And here's what I'm talking about. See how in the very middle of the monster binder, there's that like extra space. You can see it right there. Um, I'll zoom in on it. So yeah, that extra space, this right here, is what basically keeps the wire in. And you might want to bring your binder so you can actually... Uh, test like how thick the wire is because if it's too thick it won't really work as well so what you want to do is you want to keep it inside right here in the very middle and then you can use tape to actually secure it down so it doesn't move so you can have it at the exact spot you want it and uh, after you get it to the spot you want it you're going to close the binder and just keep it and what you're going to do is you're going to take your wire here and you're going to make it so it goes down so it looks like that and then you're going to get your fastener right here, the first one, and you're going to put it through. Uh, this is, It has two holes in it. So one is for each side of the uh, wire, and you put it through, and you'll get it to look something like this. And I use tape on mine to kind of hold it down a little bit while I was doing it. You're probably going to want to do the same, or if you have a friend help you out, that'll be great as well. And you want to get this really, really tight. You want to push down on this and get it really tight. So if you have like a a dad that's really strong or you know you have any tools uh, like pliers uh, very good to have so what you want to do is you want to get it as tight as you can make it to the point where this can't come out of the binder and that's essentially what this does it makes it so this wire is stuck in the binder and uh, again this is a permanent installation so if you mess up uh, yeah I'd I would ha you'd have to get something really strong to cut it. Uh, you'd have to go to like your local hard hardware store and have them cut it for you because you can't cut it with scissors, you can't cut it with pliers. It's realistically way too strong, which is a good thing though. But uh, anyways, so uh, 
yeah, you'll put it right there. That's where the first one will go. And you'll put it down really tight. And then what you do is you hammer it down. And when uh, these fasteners get hammered down, they're permanent. So, I mean, they basically get smashed and they will hold this forever. Um, I've tested mine and had multiple people pull on it. And yeah, it's basically safe. Um, and then you can put tape right here because it does kind of make this little handle thing, which I mean, I guess you could use it as a handle realistically, but I wouldn't suggest it. I'd suggest just taping it down um, or maybe gluing it. Some, some way to just put it down so it looks, so it's like nice and flat. You don't want this extra thing. You can get caught on stuff. Uh, but yeah, so this is where the first fastener goes. And so once you have this one in place, you're going to take your other fastener and you're going to put it at the very edge, around the edge of it. Uh, and then you're going to hammer that one down and that will make a loop. So you have this extra little loop thing. And from here, uh, this, that's what you want to attach to the inside of your belt. So your belt will loop through, um, and let's get that. so your belt will basically loop through, and it'll be attached to your waist. Uh, obviously, yours is going to be a lot longer than this. This is just to show you on the camera because yeah, it'd be way too long. So yeah, that's basically how it works. And if you have any questions, you're welcome to message me or just go ahead and put in the comment section below. That way, I can respond to it, and then anyone else that has the same question. Yeah, that would probably be the best. So uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section because I can respond to you guys. And that way, if someone else has the exact same question, it would be answered and it would hopefully help them out. But yeah, um, I do recommend doing this if you have, I mean, if you have a great binder, even if you have a bad binder. Like, just getting your stuff taken away is just horrible. And it's horrible that anyone would want to steal Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I mean, I mean, obviously this is uh, a card game where there's... Um, you know, cards are worth a lot of money, so there are people that, uh, unfortunately do that. But yeah, um, so this is the basic idea of the binder lock, and yeah, so, uh, if you have any questions, again, just let me know in the comments below, and I will be sure to answer them, because, uh, you know, YCS is coming up, you do definitely want to have your binder at all times, and this is definitely a way to help you, and it'll also help you, because, like, if you set this on the table and you walk away, you're like, oh, well, it's attached to your belt, so it'll obviously be pulled on, and then you'll be like, oh, Okay, <laughs> but yeah, uh, because, you know, even though you have your eye on your binder, you know, sometimes uh, it's happened before people have taken binders and throw them off of, like, the roof, and they have their friends waiting downstairs, and it's horrible. It's crazy how pe much people will go to an extent just to steal cards, and it is horrible. But yeah, uh, definitely, uh, if you have any friends, show them this video, because, you know, this is definitely something that I know I, I hope... The entire Yu-Gi-Oh! community can uh, do. This way we can prevent anyone from stealing, um, at least, you know, out of taking the binder out of someone's hand and running away with it because that is horrible. But anyways, yeah, again, uh, comments below. If you have questions, I'll be sure to answer them ASAP because this is something important. Even though I have like 500 messages, I will get to this uh, immediately. And for all those people that message me, I will get back to you. Uh, it's just been uh, kind of a crazy week with all the YCS and uh, organizing cards <laughs> to get ready for it. But uh, thanks a lot, guys. And uh, thanks for watching. Asian Eyes White Dragon, signing out.